Yeah, yeah. 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 Yeah, yeah
and not even use a food processor. But as you know, I've been really busy this year, so I'm choosing to go ahead and use this food processor and it'll make my work a lot easier and a lot faster. And relish is, you know, it's okay if it's all like done with the food processor. I used to think that doing it by hand would make the vegetables last longer. I just like the hand look of it and the hand makeness of it all. But I have come to the conclusion that getting it done right now for me is more important than me just doing everything by hand. I do cut up things small enough to fit into this uh, food processor just to make the chopping go smoother. But I don't cut every single thing up by hand anymore. I just go ahead and utilize my food processor and uh, it makes things go along faster. Now if I have a real small batch sometimes I'll still do it completely by hand. But you can do whatever you choose. You can do it by hand, but it's good to know that we can do it by hand if we have to, right? So should something happen to the electricity, we can still uh, chop by hand. I like to know that I can still do it if I need to. But I don't hesitate to use the food processor now when I cut up the zucchini, I just go ahead and cut up seeds and all. And I put them in the, when I put them in the food processor, it grinds the seeds and everything. And then when it's in the relish, you, you don't really see. You can see a few of the soft seeds, like right in here. But they just add to the relish. They don't cause any trouble. You know, they will be pickled into a uh, vinegar brine and uh, sugar, you know, solution. So it it'll soften those seeds up you'll never even really know they're there they add some interest you know we like to leave some roughage in our food we think that's good to cleanse our bowels and if you watch our our videos then you know we leave on a lot of peelings and we eat as much as of the uh, vegetable fruit meat that we can to include roughage in our diet we think being our food being over processed leads to a lot of problems so I just go ahead and chop up these seeds right along and put them in here and grind them up. Leaving the seeds and the peeling on, there's certainly a preference um, choice. So you can uh, take the seeds out or even peel your zucchini if you want to, if you want a more processed relish. I love the way the dark uh, peelings chop up into the uh, relish and it makes it really pretty. The light in the dark. You can see they chop up really small, the seeds also. And there's a lot of nutrition in a peel and underneath the peel uh, of a vegetable or a fruit. And so, you know, I always try to incorporate those into my recipes. But you do what you uh, need to do for your diet and for your preference. Just know that those seeds and stuff are a preference. Well, after cooking this relish for 10 minutes, it's time for me to go ahead and jar this up, put it in the jars. I fill it up to about a quarter of an inch or a half an inch up to the top. It's like a pickle. It's acidic, so This is the yellow squash.
Now I'll just keep doing this until I get all of my jars filled up. Then I get all of the squash relish in the jars. And then I'll put the caps on and process these half pints for 10 minutes. Now over here I've got the zucchini relish and I did it the exact same way that I did the yellow squash. And I'll be putting that in jars also and canning it. Well, if you've stayed to the end of this video, I'm going to share the squash relish recipe with you right here. This is this will be in my cookbook. I've been making this, well, my family's made this for as long as I can remember. I hope you make it and it turns out great for you and you enjoy it just as much as we do. Feel free to take a screenshot of this and use it as you will. Thank you for joining me today and like always, until next time.